Hi, welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. It's a beautiful mid-July afternoon, and I'm not going to let noisy neighborhood construction interfere with my power lounging. I'm unsuccessfully trying to beat level 1552 in Candy Crush Soda while chilling with my Reapers. These are the 10 plants I'm growing this year in order to compare results from feeding with chemical versus organic fertilizer. Five of these plants have been fertilized with the same chemically derived products I used for last year's crop, while the remainder have been nourished with Fishner Organic Fish Manure Compost, generously supplied to us by Jim White, owner of the company. I thought this would be a good time to check in and compare how the two groups of plants are doing. In addition, we'll update you on the progress of the rest of the pepper crop, also fueled with Fishner. Before we begin, today's shout out is to Monty, Charlotte, and Larney, loyal Seven Pot Club viewers from South Australia. Good day, mates. Now, let's get started. Here they are. 10 Carolina Reaper plants started from seed indoors last January, about a month before the other seedlings were started. The plants in the light blue pots are chemically fertilized, while the plants in the honeydew pots have been organically fertilized with Fishner. If you want to see how much they've grown while outdoors, here's what they looked like just before transplanting, fresh out of the basement, on May the 25th. Eight of the plants are kept on this cart, and the other two are out in front just behind our stone wall. I've gathered them on our front walk for evaluation. As you can see, I'm appropriately attired in one of our new Grim Reapers shirts from our online store at sevenpot.club merch. Recapping what we've shown you in previous episodes, here are all the products used in growing the chemically fertilized plants. They're in 12 inch plastic pots containing Schultz Moisture Plus potting mix, a potting mix that contains some chemical fertilizer. When I transplanted them into the outdoor pots, I added a tablespoon each of Epsom salt and blood meal, then watered with a little quick start transplant fertilizer. I followed up about a week later with an application of miracle Grow tomato plant food. Two weeks ago, I applied some Schultz tomato and vegetable slow release plant food, which should carry them through the rest of the season. These are the same products I used for all my plants last year. Here's the lineup for the organic plants. They're also in 12 inch plastic pots. But the potting mix is ProMix Ultimate Organic Mix combined in a 4 to 1 ratio with Fishner Organic Fish Manure Compost. Fishner is nice to work with because it smells like fresh earth. While it's still chock full of live microbes, there's absolutely no fishy or manure odor. Just like with the chemically fertilized plants, I added a tablespoon each of Epsom salt and blood meal when transplanting and watered lightly with Dr. Earth Organic Starter Fertilizer. That's it. I haven't and don't plan to apply any additional fertilization products. I'm just going to let the fishner do its thing. And just in case you think I forgot, I always add a little additional perlite to all my potting mixes to help with drainage and moisture retention. So let's start comparing these plants in pairs. I've given each pair of plants a number between 1 and 5 so that we can follow them all season and keep track of their growth and productivity. Most of the plants have some level of four-lined bug damage which causes spots and holes in the leaves. But unlike some other plants in our garden, no pepper plants were seriously impacted by this infestation, and this bug's life cycle is thankfully coming to an end for this season. Here's the first pairing. As you can see, some of the pots also contain portulaca as decorative companion plants. This pairing is pretty representative of the group. The organic plants are taking over in size, but the chemical plants are farther along in developing fruit, although these early pods are pretty small and many don't have tails. All the organic plants have lots of flowers and emerging pods, so it will be interesting to compare these plants again in about a month. Look at all the ripening pods on the chemical plant. We'll pick this really red one. Now. Pairing number two. Something that's quite noticeable when moving these pots is how much lighter in weight the organic plants are. The ProMix potting mix is much less dense than the Moisture Plus and doesn't seem to retain as much water. 
The organic plants do seem to need more frequent watering, but they also drain better after a heavy rain. Here's a nice ripe pod on the chemical plant. Moving on to pairing number three. These two are of similar heights. You'll see that better as I turn them around. Something else that is very noticeable in all these pairings is that the Fischner plants are much denser in the middle and just seem more vibrant, even if this one is temporarily a little droopy in the mid-afternoon heat. Once again, we find something to harvest on the chemical plant. Pairing number four is the most mismatched. The Fischner plant is much bigger, and it's the only one of the organic plants to have a fully ripe pepper ready to pick. Finally, pairing number five. The chemical plant has some ripe pods, but the Fischner plant is incredibly dense, full of flowers, and it looks like it's about to pump out a lot of fruit. Another little snip snip, and today's harvest is complete. We'll throw these in the freezer and keep checking daily for newly ripe fruit. We're going to keep a separate bag in the freezer for peppers from each of the 10 plants. And at the end of the season, we'll easily be able to determine which plants were most productive. Plus, we'll be ready to make a lot of hot sauce. Now the plants are back on their cart until the next check-in, but they'll battle again soon. We'll determine the winners at the end of the season by how many peppers each plant has produced. We'll rate them individually and as two groups, organic and chemical. Who do you think will win? Let us know in the comments. It's going to be really hot and humid today, but we'll try and keep the plants hydrated so they can relax and soak up the summer sun. Can't wait to show you a garden full of ripening peppers in the very near future. I hope you'll stick around and take a look at some still photos I shot yesterday evening around the garden, accompanied by a reprise of a song I wrote last year, My Ode to Summer in Minnesota. Summer and we're barefoot in the grass I wish there was a way to make it last Many like to recreate in a boat out on the lake But others would prefer to take a walk along the shoreline I could move to a different state where it's like this on every day But then would I appreciate the fleeting days of summer It's summer the beach Roast an ear of corn or eat a peach It's summer and sometimes it almost hurts Eating what we planted in the dirt It's summer and we're having so much fun It's summer and we're having so much fun If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to receive a notification each time we post a new episode. We now have Seven Pot Club logo t-shirts and all sorts of hot pepper related merch available, so if you're interested, please head over to sevenpot.club slash merch to learn more. And for even more Seven Pot Club, follow our daily exploits on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob.